home to the Siberian spruce, Siberian pine, Siberian fir, Siberian larch, and other hardy coniferous trees. This coniferous forest is called the taiga. The taiga of Canis in the Altai Mountains in Xinjiang is the only West Siberian taiga that stretches to China. Growing at the altitude of 1,300 to 2,400 meters, the taiga has a simple community structure. Siberian spruce, Siberian pine, and Siberian fir are only distributed in the Altai Mountains in China. These spruce, fir, and other trees have straight trunks, shaped like tapered towers. The lush branches and leaves at the top can absorb ample sunshine. The leaves shrink to needle-like shapes and carry a wax layer on the surface to reduce heat loss and minimize water evaporation. The leafy canopy prevents sunlight from passing through, decreasing water evaporation under the tree. For tiny seedlings and other low-growing plants, the canopy creates a humid environment that is good for growth. The taiga trees mature late and begin to bear fruit after 30 to 40 years. When the fruits are ripe in the autumn, the lively forest becomes even more festive. Before the fruits fall down, the squirrels come foraging, while the birds won't lag behind either. Under the law of nature, Seeds of these trees are spread by animal dung, natural falls, the wind, and in many other ways, in order to propagate. At every corner of the taiga, seeds that take root in the soil sprout in the spring. These seedlings grow up under the shades cast by adult trees, as if a group of children are taken care of by their mother. To grow into a towering tree is not an easy task. Limited space means tiny seedlings will have to fight for survival, and weaker ones will gradually be weeded out. The taiga trees have strong roots. In preventing soil erosion, they play a significant role. For dwarf vegetation near tree roots, they also provide a favorable living environment. The moss on the forest floor is very resistant to coldness. The damp environment makes it eager to absorb any liquid. Attaching themselves to bare roots and lower trunks of the taiga trees, the mosses also provide sufficient water for these trees. The trees and the mosses that accompany them make the Canis Valley and the Altai Mountains region a green mesmerizing realm. They help maintain the ecological balance of the region, allowing numerous flora and fauna to thrive.